Welcome to the world of Murphy Brown, a TV series that made its mark in 1988 and left an indelible imprint on the landscape of American sitcoms. The first time you tuned into this iconic show, did you anticipate the laughter and wit that would unfold in each episode? Or perhaps, like many, you stumbled upon it later, only to be captivated by the sharp humor and the resilient character of its leading lady. As we delve into the lesser known facts and anecdotes surrounding Murphy Brown, the curtain lifts on the behind-the-scenes tales that add depth to the on-screen charisma. Did you know that the character of Murphy was initially conceived as a man? It's one of those intriguing twists of fate that often shape the trajectory of beloved television shows. Now, reflecting on your personal connection with Murphy Brown, what cherished memory or experience stands out? Whether it's a shared laugh with friends during a watch party or a solo viewing that became a comforting routine, we invite you to share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your unique perspective adds another layer to the rich tapestry of this classic series. So, when was the first time you watched Murphy Brown? Are there any facts or anecdotes about the show that fascinate you? And what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV gem? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Candace Bergen, the lead actress in Murphy Brown, revealed on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen that she once dated Donald Trump when he was younger. She described him as a handsome douchebag during that time. This surprising personal connection adds an interesting layer to the history of the show. Murphy Brown's character Miles Silverberg had an interesting origin. Initially based on Jeff Zucker, who later became the executive producer of the Today Show at the age of 26, Miles' character took on a real-world influence. This connection to a successful TV executive adds depth to the development of the show's characters and showcases the industry's intricacies. Another notable aspect is the recurring character Stuart Best. A subtle nod to the Beatles' former members Stuart Sutcliffe and Pete Best, this character brings a touch of pop culture to Murphy Brown. The show's creators cleverly integrated references to iconic figures, contributing to its appeal among diverse audiences. These behind-the-scenes tidbits offer a glimpse into the rich history and creative choices that shaped Murphy Brown. From personal connections with influential figures to character inspirations drawn from real-life successes and pop culture references, the show transcends its sitcom format, leaving a lasting impact on television. Diane English, the creator of Murphy Brown, made a notable appearance on the show's season 10 finale, playing the role of a doctor. This behind-the-scenes involvement showcases the creator's direct connection to the series, adding a layer of authenticity to the narrative. It's not uncommon for show creators to have a cameo, but English's role as a doctor is a subtle nod to her impact on the show's storytelling. Interestingly, the series had a significant influence on the news industry. 60 Minutes, a renowned news program, had a strong connection with Murphy Brown. The show was a favorite among 60 Minutes correspondents, leading to several of them making cameo appearances as themselves in various episodes. The connection went beyond the screen as Candace Bergen, Murphy Brown's lead actress, was approached by CBS to join 60 Minutes as a full-time correspondent after the original series concluded in 1998. However, Bergen's dedication to acting led her to decline the offer, highlighting the fine line between entertainment and journalism. In a separate note on recurring cast dynamics, it's worth noting that Jake McDormand and Annalee Tipton appeared as a couple for the third time in a television show through Murphy Brown. This on-screen pairing adds an interesting layer to the series, showcasing the chemistry between actors and their ability to bring characters to life across different projects. These behind-the-scenes insights into Murphy Brown offer a glimpse into the show's impact on both its creators and the broader television landscape. From creator cameos to the series' influence on real-world news programs, Murphy Brown's legacy extends beyond its sitcom format, leaving a lasting mark on television. During its run, the 1988 TV series Murphy Brown achieved a significant milestone in American primetime sitcom history. Following the conclusion of Married, with children on June 9, 1997, Murphy Brown became the longest-running American primetime sitcom on the air, retaining the status until its 10th season finale on May 18, 1998. It held this distinction until being succeeded by Family Matters. Notably, the show's first 10 seasons were filmed in Burbank, California, 
before transitioning to Kaufman Asteria Studios in Queens, New York, for its 11th season. This shift in filming locations added a unique aspect to the series and reflected changes in its production dynamics. Interestingly, during the early planning stages, CBS had different casting considerations for the title role. According to an article in Ladies Home Journal from March 2000, there was initial interest in having Heather Locklear play the lead in Murphy Brown. However, the role eventually went to Candace Bergen, contributing significantly to the show's success. These aspects, from its record-setting run to the evolution of filming locations and casting choices, provide a glimpse into the varied and impactful journey of the iconic TV series Murphy Brown, showcasing its enduring influence on the sitcom landscape. After clinching her fifth Emmy for the iconic role, Candace Bergen chose to bow out of future nominations as Murphy Brown. This decision underscored her commitment to the character's legacy. Behind the scenes, the show's set held an intriguing connection to another classic. The exterior of Murphy Brown's residence shared the screen with Wonder Woman's abode. The building served as a versatile backdrop for two influential series. Delving into character origins, Jim Dial, a stalwart presence on the show, reportedly drew inspiration from Jim Jensen, a notable television news reporter at New York City's WCBS-TV. This real-world influence added depth to the portrayal of newsroom dynamics. These nuanced facets further enriched the legacy of the 1988 TV series Murphy Brown, showcasing its impact on both television history and pop culture. In season four of the iconic TV series, Murphy Brown, a significant moment unfolded as the lead character, portrayed by Candace Bergen, gave birth to her child, Avery. This storyline, however, became entangled in real-world politics when Vice President Dan Keel criticized the show for depicting an unmarried woman embracing motherhood. The controversy played out in the show's response during the season five premiere, cleverly titled You Say Potato, I Say Potato. In a 60-minute episode, the clip of Keel's remarks took center stage, and the majority of the writing hilariously mocked the vice president's comments. This clash between fiction and reality not only showcased the show's ability to tackle societal issues, but also highlighted its impact beyond the entertainment realm. The response to political criticism demonstrated the show's commitment to addressing contemporary issues with humor and wit. This incident was just one example of Murphy Brown's ability to weave current events into its narrative fabric. The show's satirical approach to real-world situations resonated with audiences and solidified its place in television history. The intersection of politics and sitcom showcased the unique an influential role that Murphy Brown played in shaping public discourse during its run. As we delve into the layers of Murphy Brown's legacy, it's essential to acknowledge how the show skillfully balanced humor with social commentary, making it a standout in the realm of television sitcoms. The series' willingness to confront and satirize political controversies added depth to its storytelling, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey down memory lane, let the echoes of Murphy Brown's laughter linger in your mind, an indelible melody of wit and charm. Reflect on the tapestry of moments woven by this 1988 TV gem, a series that became not just a show but a companion in the theater of our lives. Perhaps it's the razor-sharp humor that resonates or the resilient spirit of the characters that struck a chord with you. Dive into the reservoir of your memories and unearth the gems that Murphy Brown gifted you. Share those treasured recollections, let them be the mortar that fortifies the collective nostalgia we hold for this remarkable series. In the hustle of today's fast-paced world, Murphy Brown serves as a gentle reminder of a bygone era, a testament to the power of storytelling that transcends time. What nuggets of wisdom did you glean from those newsroom escapades? How did it influence your outlook on life or your sense of humor? As we navigate the maze of our own narratives, let Murphy Brown be a compass, pointing us towards the timeless truths that connect us all. Share your reflections, your anecdotes, and the warmth that Murphy Brown brought into your life. In this digital agora, your voice becomes a pixel in the grand mosaic of shared memories. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane with us, for allowing Murphy Brown to dance across the stage of your thoughts. Your stories enrich the legacy of this iconic series, making it not just a TV show but a living, breathing testament to the magic of storytelling. Until we meet again in the corridors of nostalgia, happy reminiscing.
and thank you for your time and interest in the tales we've spun together.